Books are the quietest and most constant of friends. They are the most accessible and wisest of counselors and the most patient of teachers. My parents are originally from Poland, and from World War II onward, there was a lot of economic hardship and political turmoil in the country. And like a lot of Polish people at the time, my parents decided to move to America and they took it. My parents were the kind that highly stress education. We grew up kind of poor, but my parents like saved whatever they could to put us through the local Catholic school. Uh, there was always a budget for books. I re actually, one of my fond memories is going with both my mom and dad to uh, bookstores. I, I loved going to bookstores. It's, um, so even just going nowadays reminds me of like those nice feelings of um, being able to read there with my parents, uh, getting out of the house. You know, I grew up with a big family. I've got five brothers, so in the house there wasn't always a lot of room. These are all my brothers. I'm on the left side of this photo. This is like, we used to joke, this is like the default cake. Everybody got the same damn cake all the time. It was just this strawberry cake. Um, <laughs> we, we used to just call this default cake. first uh, book I read just on my own that wasn't assigned for school was this uh, biography of Michael Jordan. And of course I was very much into basketball so I kept reading things related to basketball. I started realizing again how I wasn't that great of a reader because those reading tests that we all had to take, ACT, SAT, I do terribly on the reading test. I was falling behind a lot of classes. I had a professor that I was meeting up with during his office hours. I was taking five classes and I was commuting to and from school and I could not keep up with all this reading. So I'm complaining to my professor about this and he's the one that told me, well, you should consider taking a speed reading course. And I was a little skeptical about it. I wasn't really sure how you would speed up your reading and still comprehend. I basically just went back to this professor and asked him, you know, can you show me how to read faster? And he said, if I wanted to, I could come in during office hours and we'd work at it. I was at 190 words a minute. On the comprehension, I didn't do so well. I got a 60% on this test he gives me, mainly because I ran out of time. We went through about 10 hours of training over a few weeks, and I started making progress with my speed. And uh, last session I had training with my professor, um, I got my speed up to 830 words a minute, so more than four times faster from where I started. My final semester of college, just by chance, I took an entrepreneurship class. And our professor wanted every individual to come up with their own business idea. And this is actually how Iris Reading got started. It started as a class project. I put together a very basic business plan. And I just started posting some flyers on campus, kind of like a tutoring gig. I started getting emails from students that were interested, but I would teach fellow students on campus speed reading techniques and one of the things I found was I just really really loved teaching and then little by little I started realizing you know this is a bigger opportunity there's a lot of people that desire to be able to read faster and keep up with all the information that's out there you could read it faster there's a bigger need for being able to get through the information quickly and to be able to pick out the details so it's not so much how much information do you actually own it's more everybody has a lot of information how can you actually get the diamonds in the rough and pick out those gold nuggets. So my first class I taught actually got good feedback. I was surprised that I didn't bomb it and that people were actually interested and people started telling other people and little by little we started growing through referrals and then we started hiring employees. Then we got some office space, training other instructors and um, since we got started we've done this in well over a hundred cities throughout the world, mostly in the U.S. but Outside the U.S., we have instructors that teach these workshops in places like Singapore, Hong Kong, London. I, we've done these workshops for employees at NASA, um, Google, LinkedIn. We've done this all over the place, from uh, community colleges to Ivy League schools. And it's given me a chance to meet a lot of very interesting people and uh, doing what I love doing, which is teaching and reading. <laughs> so.
Our brain is capable of so much more than we expect. And our goal is to get people to the point where they're reading at the speed of thought. My name is Paul Novak, and I'm the founder and CEO of Iris Reading. <laughs>